The recent death of a man outside of an adult foster care home in Jenison was the second in little more than a year in West Michigan involving the company that operates it. An 86-year-old woman who suffered from dementia wandered away from one of the company's homes in Kentwood undetected and drowned last year, leading to a state investigation. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker spoke with the medical worker who was on duty the night of the drowning, who says the door alarms never sounded. He has those details tonight. Ken? Brian and Sue, Jean Bruin, a great-grandmother, lived at Cobblestone Manor in Kentwood, an adult foster care home operated by American House Senior Living. A state report on the death shows the woman who was legally blind was somehow able to get outside the home at Eastern Avenue and 60th Street undetected after bedtime on June 2nd, 2022, without her walker. She was such a sweet lady. The report said alarms on exit doors were, quote, either inoperable or disengaged. The lead medical technician who found the woman and who was identified in that state report says staff had warned American House management that the door alarms were not working. But they were just neglecting it and weren't paying attention. She asked not to be identified, saying she feared retribution from the Toledo-based company. She says she quit last year. I feel like, yes, they should have alarms on in all buildings. It wasn't clear which door the woman used to walk away. Workers told the state the doors lock from the outside, but do not keep residents from leaving. It wasn't until the day after the death, according to a state report, that workers installed an alarm on the front door. And the following day I came back and they were installing them alarms. Also the next day, according to a lawsuit filed with the family, a relative overheard a worker saying he had fixed the alarm on the side door nearest the pond. The home also emptied the pond the next day. Relatives told the state that Jean Bruin had a bad day, hallucinating about her deceased mother and husband. And she was just like hallucinating. She was acting like if she was gonna go out to a party with her deceased husband. Staff at the home told the state that the woman was in bed peacefully sleeping with her cat, Samantha, when they checked her room at 8 that night. The lead med tech, who was working alone by then, says Bruin was gone when she checked the room on her rounds two hours later. Kind of panicking a little bit. She checked everywhere, inside, then out. The last place I, I checked was the pond. Like, something just told me, you know, um, just go check the pond. You know, and yeah, sure enough, she was just laying, you know, there. Face down in a small pond just feet from the side door. The State Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs issued a violation for failing to provide adequate supervision and protection. American House Senior Living operates 18 adult foster homes in West Michigan, in Kentwood, Jenison, Holland, and Spring Lake. Since last year, the state has cited six of the 18 homes for not having enough staffing to adequately care for residents. The state also is investigating the October 13th death of 83-year-old Calvin Powers, whose body was found outside after he had walked away from an American House adult foster care home in Jenison. That home has doors that lock from the inside. Now, we reached out to American House in Toledo and, and are waiting to hear back. The state, in the meantime, says its investigation into that death in Jenison is nearly complete.